Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Hello there and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to denoise JPEG files with the use of noiseless AI and few of the other tools in Luminar Neo. Now, as you probably know, noiseless AI, just like many other AI noise reduction application, works the best with the high quality RAW files. The reason is that it benefits from lots of data. On the other side, it's still available for all the other image formats in Luminar Neo. So if you ever end up with the JPEG files full of noise, try one of these methods and remove as much noise as possible. Now, before we're going to start, there are two things you should know. Number one, if you're going to work with JPEG files, try to get as big and as highest quality of the file as possible. Number two, when you're going to be removing the noise, always make sure that you do that on the beginning of the edit. Of course, as always, we're going to be giving you sample files for this tutorial. So if you want to get them and follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there, get into our Dropbox account and download them so you can do the edit on your own computer. As you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are in a catalog module. We are starting by looking at the sample files and first we're going to be editing the lady. So select it, click on it, and then click on edit on the top of your screen or use E on your keyboard to move the image into edit module. While we're here, what we want to do, we want to go into our zoom shortcut at the bottom of the screen and turn it into 100%. This way we're looking at the image from 100% view and we can see that there is fair bit of noise, especially on the areas around the face of the subject. So there is a fair bit of noise, so let's zoom back and move straight into the noiseless AI. Click on it to open it and here look at the advice. The advice here is a low, so select the low and wait for it to scan the image and apply the noise reduction to it. When the tool is finished, it zoom you in to 100% so you can move around and check the result. And it also makes the additional sliders available for fine tuning. Now I suggest you to move around your image and look for the areas with the texture as well as the corner of the image where usually there is a lot of noise there. Once you're happy, we can make some adjustments to the setting. First of all, looking at it, I think lots of noise was removed. However, let's try some of the other presets. Let's go for the middle, so click on it to select it and see the result you will see that once the initial scan is over, the change between the different presets is quite fast. So looking at the middle, I think it's much better. Finally, let's try the high. And the high is also giving great result. Now we can also check the before and after with the use of the quick preview in a corner of the tool. And when you click on it, you will see the before and after. And you can see that we already removed lots of noise. However, by doing that, we also removed some details from the face of the subject. So to bring them back, we can use the details and sharpness sliders. When you bring them down, you remove the details and sharpness from the image and make the image even softer. However, when you push them the other way around, you will add some details back to the image. Now you need to be careful as by adding more details and sharpness to the image, you reintroducing some of the noise back. So really what you need to do is to find out the good balance between the denoise and details and sharpness sliders. So let's see, I think something like this is looking quite good. Now we can zoom out, check out the result, and I think it's looking great. Now let's have a look again before and after, 
and I think we're done with this sample file. We are back in the catalog module, and this time we're going to be working on the wildlife photo. Select it, and then move it into edit module with the edit on the top of your screen. Once again, let's zoom into 100% and see how much of a noise we have. The details are quite good on the bird, however, there is lots of luminance noise around it. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom out and navigate straight to our noiseless AI. Click on it to open it, and let's have a look at the advice, which is again low, so let's click on low and wait for it to scan the image and apply the noise reduction. When it's finished, we end up again 100% on our zoom and we have our fine-tuned sliders available. Let's move up a little bit and see the result. Now it removed some of the noise, however, I think we can do a little bit better. For this, let's shift to middle preset and see how that is going to do. And I think it's much better. However, let's go for the high and see what it does to the image. Looking at it, the result is probably the best out of the three. However, by using the high preset, we also remove lots of details from the bird. Now, of course, that we could use the details and sharpness slider here. However, I want to show you another way to do it. Instead of increasing the details and sharpness sliders, I want you to bring them down to zero. What it's going to do is going to remove even more noise from your image. And of course, it's going to remove more details from your main subject. However, what we can do now, we can close the noiseless AI and we can move to the details tool in our essentials section. Again, click on it to open it. And now focusing on our main subject, we just want to adjust small and medium details. So don't worry about the rest of the image, just increase the small details. And again, keep an eye on the image. Often it is a good idea to go quite high and then bring it down to see what result we prefer. Same for the medium details. Let's bring it up, see what we prefer, and then slowly bring it down until it looks natural. Now, of course, it does introduce a little bit of the noise back to the image. However, this is where the trick comes. What we're going to do, we're going to use masking. So let's go into the masking on a details tool, click on it, and select the brush. Now we need to zoom out a little bit. So something like this. And now we can use the brush just to paint the effect of the details tool just on the main subject. We can increase the size of our brush and I think we leave the softness and strength on 100. And now just very carefully, let's paint over the main subject. Now it's not going to be perfect. However, you can take as much time as you want and really play with it even further. So Something like this. So we are getting details and sharpness into our main subject and the rest of the image stay without the noise. Now again, zoom out and let's have a look at it. If you would want to, you could also paint on the area which has the details in it. Just something like this, I think will do the job. And now, as you can see, we have removed lots of noise and we have brought lots of details back to the main subject and the areas that are in focus. Now let's have a look at the before and after at the bottom of our screen. And you can see that we done a great job with the use and help of the details tool and the noiseless AI. And finally, for the third time, we are back in a catalog module where we're going to be working on a third sample file. Select it and once again, move it into edit module. Looking at this image, you can see that even without zooming, there is a lot of noise lots of luminance noise, a little bit of color noise. So let's see what we can do with the help of the tools in Luminar Neo. Just like I suggested earlier, the first thing we should do is to try the noiseless AI tool before applying any other effects. So let's go for it. Let's go into our extensions and the noiseless AI. Here, this time you can see that the advice is to use the high adjustment. So let's go for it. Let's select the high and wait for the AI technology to scan the image and apply the noise reduction. As always, we are already zoomed in, so let's move around and we can see that we removed some noise, however, is nowhere perfect. Of course, that we have our sliders available. However, the luminosity denoise is already on 100%, so there is not much more we can do here. Let's zoom out. And while we at this view, let's have a look at the before and after. Now there is another way of how we could reduce a little bit more noise 
and that's with the use of the develop tool. So let's close the noiseless AI and move to the develop tool inside of the essentials section. Open it and here close whatever you have open and just focus on the sharpness and noise reduction. It's important to remember that even though we have the noiseless AI available, we still have the sharpness and noise reduction in a develop tool and also the denoise tool on our main toolbar. While we're here, let's zoom in a little bit. And from this view, we can adjust the noise reduction first. So here we have the choice between luminosity and color. So let's start by increasing the luminosity and see what result we're going to get. Now this is way too much. So we need to do it carefully to get as natural a result as possible. I feel like somewhere around 30 is giving us quite nice result. At the same time, we can also try the color noise reduction. So let's have a look. If we push it, it doesn't really make a big difference. So let's leave it on 30 and continue. Now, of course, by pushing the luminosity and color noise reduction, we have removed lots of details. Now we can work on that with the help of the sharpness just above. Let's increase the sharpness to somewhere around 70, which of course at this point will introduce some of the noise back. However, if we use masking here and push it to somewhere around 70, the sharpness will be focusing only on the areas with the texture and edge. So when we zoom out, this is how far we can take the image. Let's have a look at the before and after, after applying both of the tools. And I think the difference is huge. You have to understand that with certain amount of noise, and especially with JPEG files, you will run into the limitation of how much noise you can remove. However, with the help of noiseless AI and a develop tool, we get a result which you can start to work on and maybe with the help of some other tools, you can bring it to the point where you can still use it and share it around. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.